one of the gr- one of the greatest stories. Me and Dutchie just this is an amazing story. I, I, okay. This is all right, whatever, whatever <laughs> it is. It, it, what am I going to do? It is what it is. So we get traded to Columbus, and we're in this closed door meeting. We just get there. I think like maybe two days in, we have the craziest flight. We almost die on this flight. It was it was literally fifty mile an hour winds. It was nuts. We land. We get in this closed door meeting with Torts, and I'm kid you not for three hours in like I think it was like Vancouver's practice rink or something. Me and Dutchie, our heads are down. And we're trying not to die laughing. Torts is annihilating everybody in there. He walks in, he walks in, he grabs like a thing. He goes, throws it over Bob's shoulder. And he's like, yeah, I knew you wouldn't stop that. And he starts just going <laughs> after Bob and like Go, oh, I, him. Bobrowski. And, yeah. So Bobrowski and Panarin, I guess there was some weird fake issues with them. And, and he, he was trying to test them to see like, you know, if they wanted to be on the team, if they wanted to make playoffs and, Oh man, I was just crying. He, so I remember, I remember he was going after Panarin because Panarin wanted to play with Dutchie and didn't want to play with Atkinson. And he was like, "Oh, you told me you're better righty than Atkinson's lefty," and like was going all this stuff. And and uh, and I remember he goes, he goes, "Do you want to play with Atkinson? Do you want to win? Do you want the Columbus Blue Jackets to win?" And Panarin's like, uh, you know, uh, Aki is good, but I play with Duchesne. Like complete opposite <laughs> of what." <laughs> Complete opposite of what you want to say. He's like, and me and Dutchie, I was crying, laughing. He's like, ah, I play with Duchesne. Okay. And then I, it was, I think Torts didn't even know what to do. And so he just snapped and went over to Bobrovsky. And, and Bobrovsky's like, I Russian, Panarin Russian, so you come after me too? Like, dude, it was, it was, it was nuts. It was a full on melee. And I'm crying, laughing. Maybe that's why Torch scratched me because I was dying laughing at his speech. But man, it was so funny. He was, oh. That I could tell that started for like thirty five minutes, like at a glass of red wine and us going to dinner, but it was amazing. Like the stuff that he was saying to Panarin was just comical. Like it was amazing. 